saw this uh, post on Chief Talk today about the wall layer intersection tool, so I thought I'd do a quick video, show what does and doesn't work. So let's get started. Okay, I got your plan open here, and um, I was going to show you what's going on and why you're having difficulty here joining these, and, and it's pretty simple. And I think one of the ways uh, to show this is to overlay your I'm actually going to open these walls real quick and define them a little differently right here. I'm going to make them transparent so it's they're lighter. And then uh, I'm going to make some polylines and show you how these walls are intersecting. So I'll come right back. Okay, so now I have these like polylines with colors on them and I can show you what the problem is. The way these walls align, Chief will allow you to join two surfaces together with this um, wall, what is it called here? Wall layer intersection tool. And um, But as you can see, if you pull this polyline up right here to be in line with this, it overlaps right here. And so they're not going to join properly. So if you pull this one back to join here, you're going to end up with a gap. Even if you pull this one over or actually you can see what will happen here. If you pull this over to align with that or you just say, I'm going to join them right here together. Um, you're going to end up with, as you can see, this overlapping this little gap. Um, so the the wall tool won't let you join those walls without problems, I guess is what I'm saying. So I don't know if you have any flexibility in moving these walls, but you have to, to get the wall alignment tool. What's it called again? I don't even remember. Um, yeah. What's this tool called? Wall layer intersection tool. That's what it's called. Wall layer intersection um, to work. This is how you want it to work. But what should happen is really this corner should probably finish right here. And then this tool, this wall here would have to move, you know, like this. So that you could you could then evenly join all these walls together. Uh, even here, you might have a problem with the drywall by doing that. But um, so I don't know if you can move those walls or not, but that's the reason you cannot join these right here. Now, up here, uh, you have a little bit of a similar problem, but I think that this might be able to be worked out. Well, I've drawn some polylines in here just to see if I could get this to work. And it would generally work, but you've still got this little hole right here because the walls don't line up properly. So I don't know if you have some flexibility with those, but um, if you do, uh, you could probably make this work. Let's just see if we can mess with this here. Um, if we, let's just pull this wall back for now and try to join these two walls. So we use the wall alignment tool, but see how this drags right to that corner? And then let go and then click this wall and do the same. Do this. Okay, so those walls join nice and neatly. Now this wall here, when it comes down, it's not joining right where it needs to, which is right here. Again, you can double click your wall thing here and wall icon and click outer surface and say, okay. And so here we got it. So if you align that right there, and then use your wall alignment tool here and pull this back to here. And actually, I am going to do that tool again because I don't have it lined up right. Main layer outside. Now I've got the main layer here. Let connect it to right there. And now your walls all line up just beautifully. So if you give this some thought when you're laying these walls out, you can use the, um, what is this again? Wall layer intersection tool and get them to line up. And, uh, but if you don't put these in the right place, like 
when I when I did this, I got this layer right here to line up with this layer right here. And uh, then you can join these. And here too, I, I got this layer. So let me look at this wall layer intersection tool again. What did we do here? Yeah, we we joined here like that. So it'd be like you were framing it in the field. Uh, this is how they probably would do it. Uh, you could do it a different way, probably. No, no, you can't really. Not way the way this wall is intersecting. So this wall up here is intersecting 90 degrees to this wall, and then this wall is being bisected. And you, you've got to give some thought to this when you're doing it. Now, if you're doing a, an as-built of what's in the field, I don't know if you have the flexibility to move the walls around and make it work. If you don't, you're not going to really get those to line up. It, you could, worst case scenario, I suppose, if something's not lining up just right, you could put a polyline solid in there and make it work. But um, so that's the wall uh, layer intersection tool there. And uh, I hope that that helps clear that up a little bit. Thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll see you next time. And don't forget, subscribe.